you talk with helium in your lungs, you know, it kind of sounds like this. And if any of you watch PBS, uh, and you've seen uh, the guys, uh, I still got a little more, uh, Jacques Cousteau. Remember Jacques Cousteau? He goes under the ocean in the Calypso to find really strange creatures in great depths. And the, and the problem is, if they go way down there, they have to um, they have to use a special atmosphere that is instead of nitrogen and oxygen like our atmosphere, they have to use helium and oxygen. Does anybody know why they do that? Way 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 down uh, near the bottom of the ocean. What's different down there? When they have the right What? Pressure. Pressure. Pressure is very high. And it turns out that helium is a lot less soluble in your blood at high pressure than nitrogen. So the pressure inside the calypso has got to equal the outside pressure. Very high pressure. And, and uh, so um, they use helium. And so if you listen to their show, you know, Jacques Rousseau passed away a few years ago. Uh, but his, I think it's still, uh, Jacques Rousseau is still in syndication. Anybody ever seen one of those shows with him? Yeah, so they're, they're down in the flip zone and they're talking, you hear their, their voices. So they're talking about, actually, they are plants, so they are talking to seeds. Then it's going to be getting so, I don't think you cannot be in with my nuts. Okay, exactly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. That, so that's the uh, healing. Now, the interesting thing is what we do is with xenon. We have a periodic table. Uh, yeah. So where's xenon? Where's helium in the periodic table? Upper, that's right, upper right. And where's xenon? Lower right. It's down there. It doesn't have the weight. Well, xenon weighs 131, and helium weighs 4. So what's going to happen to my voice with xenon? I'm going to let Professor Batting prep this, but first we have to my friends here have to help me. Now, the only problem with xenon is it's a powerful anesthetic, kind of like chloroform or um, ether. Okay? So if I keep this in my lungs more than a few seconds, I'm going to pass out. And if I'm not ventilated, I'm going to die. Okay? Now, xenon is heavy. Okay? And so what we have to do is I'm going to get in my lungs, I'm going to fall. But, but then I need to be upside down. So we're going to practice. Come over. What's your name? Is this a Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Rich, you're going to grab these trousers here and the shirt here, okay? And you're, you are going. Mike, same thing on this side. And, uh, and the, the reason, so go ahead, just grab whichever way you want, like that. That's good. Both the same way. You know, you can, well, you can grab arm. And I, I need you to both to pick me up and turn me upside down. We're going to practice this now. Serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I'm going to be here dying. <laughs>
That's okay. One of these days, I'll show you how I do it. Okay. Perfectly harmless. Thank you so much.